Hello, it's Tamara Hunter, and I have Crystal Young here, and today is number 56 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. Thank you for today. You know, we um, are actually here, and I'm going to show, uh, I know this is backwards, Rocky, again, but we are at Rotary in Temecula, and it is really cool because they have Temecula Valley new gen for new generation rotary and their tag is this is not your father's <laughs> club or something like that not your daddy's or, club, or your daddy's we welcome club. everybody we're just a lot of fun and we're really happy to have tamara out here today um speaking with us and i want to just talk about uh and and recognize uh crystal as a service hero because you know rotary as is one of those clubs that actually supports the community. They support and go out if there's nonprofits and they're 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 very service oriented. And here is the president of this wonderful organization. So I'm gonna let you tell us a little bit about your club, what it is that you do, and a little bit about you too. Well, um, I wish I could take all of the credit, but I actually, our club is successful because of our many members, not just me. Um, we are a service organization. Um, we do community projects as well as international projects. And a little bit different from your traditional Rotary Club, we target an age demographic between 18 and 40 year olds. Um, but we welcome everybody and um, we're very excited about participating more in the community and if you would ever like to come check us out you're <laughs> always welcome to um, we meet on Thursdays at TGI Fridays in Temecula from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock wonderful you know and and I was impressed with how many people were here today Crystal and the age group because I, I had been told that the next gen you know and I'm thinking oh it's gonna be the younger crowd which is great I love the younger crowd I love everyone but you know I, I had that in my mind and Though there was a 13-year-old here and was recognized as a guest, um, and which I think is awesome because learning about things at a younger age and about service, but we had some of the, you know, a little more senior, wink, wink, um, people uh, here in the group too. Don't, you know, and is that typical for the kind of people that come to your club? Yes, we have a very, very uh, diverse group, even though we target a younger demographic um, we work with everybody and we welcome everybody and we're really excited when guests come to visit um, and specifically when they come and help us with our service projects. Wonderful. So we, we know what time, we know what day, we know what it is that Rotary does and um, I also wanted to highlight you said not only just the, the local but you do international. You were telling us a little bit about the projects that you're supporting right now. Why don't, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Because I was so impressed. Yes, uh, we are currently putting in water wells in Nigeria and we are raising funds for that, um, largely in part to one of our members who is currently hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. He left back in April and he is just about to the Washington border already. Um, but along the path, he's been walking for water. That has been his motto. Um, and we've been following his journey, and it's been amazing, and we're super proud of him. That is Corey Amante. Um, and we're wishing him well and a belated happy birthday because that was this month. Um, but he will be scheduled to complete his hike sometime in September. He's still on target for that. Um, and then when he comes back, we're planning we have some different locations, but we work with a sister club in Nigeria, and we are going to be putting more water wells in some rural communities out there. That is so wonderful. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, how about this? Why don't we go ahead and we'll put in the comment area information on how you guys out there can support Corey in this Perfect. amazing journey. I mean, they were talking about what he's doing and and uh, he's been posting on Instagram a lot, right? Right. Yes. And and so that you can follow him and say, hey, way to go. And, and if you feel that that is something in your heart, go for it. This is wonderful. And even if you don't donate monetarily, definitely send him some love and encouragement because um, that's probably the best support he could get right now. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's what we can definitely do. That uh, The group that we're a part of, yes. That, you know, so guys, 
Let's give him some love, okay? And so as we end this, and, and in fact, you know what I'm thinking, Corey? If this is not a book, I don't know what is. You know, this has got to be, what you're doing is amazing. I he love it. He does have a blog you can follow. Oh, cool. So we can put that in the link as well. Okay, we will. All right, so thank you, Crystal. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you, Tamara. And thank you for the Rotary Temecula New Gen Club for inviting me and being so amazing today. So we have just closed. Day number 56 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. Crystal Young, thank you for being a service hero. Thank you, Rotary Next Gen, for being so welcoming of myself and my mission with Chemo Buddies for Life. You're no, welcome. No one should face cancer alone. Okay, so go out and serve another if you... Just give a smile, just do a kind act of kind, you know, a, a silent act of kindness. That's service. All right, let's do it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.